My name is Andrew DePrisco, and I'm the Artistic Director of the Axelrod Performing Arts Center. Wonderful. And how long have you been working at the Axelrod? I've been uh, producing shows here for about 10 years. I've been the Artistic Director for five years. Wow, that's exciting. But this is the first show back post-COVID hiatus, right? Yeah, we uh, closed. Uh, we were forced to close in March. We were in our second weekend of the musical Matilda, which was heartbreaking because it was a brilliant production. And uh, we've been dark for 19 months. So we started rehearsals a month ago and uh, auditions two months ago. And it was like coming back from the, the earth. And uh, yeah, we're, we're back flying high and doing what we love to do with these amazing actors and technicians. It took 60 people to put this show on stage. Wow, I, I can't even right, imagine. Exactly. So, oh. oh, that's actually a really cool look. <laughs> they're doing, we're, we're, we're about an hour before we open and they're doing, uh, they're doing the, 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 the lighting check. Yes, I, I figured, but you looked very Channel in for a moment there. <laughs> Um, oh, I, I had a question and I just forgot it because I got distracted. Um, oh, oh, the question was, um, when you go about choosing a show, uh, especially after the pandemic began, what brought you to A Bronx Tale? Well, A Bronx Tale is one of those shows that had a, had a nice run on Broadway, but not, not everybody saw it. Um, we felt that it had a good Jersey feel based on the high volume of Italians in New Jersey. And uh, it also has a great message, you know, and the, the racial tension in the show really feels, you know, as relevant as ever, even though uh, the, uh, the audiences are really cheering for the couple to get together and anything that may have been uh, difficult back in 1960, really does seem not present in this room, that the audience is so accepting of, of a uh, black actress and a white actor having a romantic uh, involvement. Baby steps, right? At least we've made some progress. Steps, yeah. <laughs> That's good. And as an Italian, we were looking for an all Italian season. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Although our next show is The Bridges of Madison County, which is also an Italian show. Oh, that's so funny. That's, right. <laughs> how many shows um, do you do per season? We do three full musicals per season. And uh, this coming year, we will have two original musicals coming up and uh, a bunch of concerts and a couple of ballets and a children's production. Uh, so we do a lot. Oh, wow, that's exciting. Uh, do you know the names of the two originals offhand? It's okay. Well, you. one of them is called Pieta and it was written by Jake Landau. And uh, the other one uh, might be called Stories, my, sto Stories I Didn't Tell My Mother, although they're maybe changing the title. And it's written by Jonathan Brielle, who actually grew up in Deal. And it's a brilliant, funny, great musical. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, yeah, I just, I, when I walked into the Axelrod, I'd never been there before. And I thought it was such a beautiful space. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to tell someone who has never been to the Axelrod before? Why do they need to get there? We, we are hidden in a neighborhood in Ocean Township. And uh, we have a huge parking lot. And uh, once you find us, you never lose us. But it's always getting here the first time. Uh, we're attached to the JCC Jersey Shore. And um, so it's a huge building. And the Axarot is just one of the wings of the building. And um, it's a 500 seat proscenium theater. It's, it's only been open about 12 years. And um, you know it's one of the newer theaters in the area. And uh, we mostly specialize in producing musical theater. So we, lots of other theaters, great theaters in the area, produce original plays or all kinds of other things. Pretty much we do musical theater and concerts, which sometimes have a musical theater theme. Otherwise it might be jazz or rock and roll. And uh, we also have a ballet company, which uh, also does some musical theater as well as classical stuff and contemporary stuff. 